Hi, welcome to a Siemens NX12 video tutorial. I want to do that hexagon grill, an easy version in Siemens NX. And the tool I used therefore was global shaping. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. It doesn't really matter, but let's use the XY plane. Confirm. And I need a rectangle, a centered one, which is 250 by 150 and angle is zero. Okay. I could do the fillets in the sketch or with or outside, doesn't really matter. So Let's do those fillets outside the sketch. And I need an extrude, and that extrude would be 2.5 millimeter with that sketch in set direction. And confirm. Let's add the edge blends. I want to go for, let's say, 20 millimeter edge blend. This edge. This one. That one. And of course, the last one up there. And confirm. Let's hide that sketch. And make a shell. So I want to go for a shell, 10 millimeter. I want to select this face here. And I need a different thickness on this face, 0 0.5, and confirm. It looks like this. Now I need a parallel plane to the XY plane, okay. And distance should be two millimeter. That's okay. Let's do a sketch on this one, on that datum plane. Confirm. And I need a hexagon, which I will try to place right here. It doesn't work, so let's move it here add a constraint horizontal, add uh, yeah, a dimension it should be 15 and now put that center point onto that sketch origin coincident. I need another hexagon. So let's go for another hexagon. Put it right there. Again, make it horizontal. This line should be for construction only. Add a dimension. This would be 15. And this point here and that point there should be coincident. Finish that sketch. And now I want to use the RIP tool. You cannot do it uh, the way I did it in Katir or in SolidWorks or in Winter because the RIP tool works in a different way. You can try and you will see it, it doesn't work. So I have to do it in this way. But I want to use the RIP tool at least a little bit, so go for the rip. And the body is obviously selected and the curve would be that sketch here. It should be perpendicular to section plane, one millimeter thickness, combine rip with target, no. And confirm. Let's hide that plane and hide that sketch. 
And now I want to pattern those, uh, well, this body here, this solid. Let's take a look how many solids do we have. We have two solids. Okay. Back to timestamp order. Now let's pattern that geometry. Pattern geometry. I want to pattern that rip here. It should be, of course, a linear pattern. And one direction would be the y direction, this one. And I want it symmetric. Let's say five instances, maybe, yes. And distance should be 50 millimeter. Second direction would be the x direction. And again, symmetric. And I could go for six. Maybe five. If I go for five, I will lose one here. So it doesn't really matter. I will trim it anyway. So let's confirm this. It will take a while. And now I want to make a surface with which I can trim those. Yeah, so I could go for that face here. Let's take a look. Yes, this should work and I could extract that face, that surface and use this as trim tool. So let's go for extract geometry. Go not for body faces, but uh, face chain, yeah. Not single face, but tangent faces. Let's see if we can select them like this. Yep, and OK. That's interesting. Somehow, with extract face, that option was activated, I suppose. So my solid is hidden. Let's go to bring back the solid like this and now I want to make a union between this body and that body so go for unite unite that as tool as target and use this as tool all those bodies as tools so let's select them like this And I don't want to keep the target and I don't want to keep the tool in this case. If you could keep them, it doesn't really matter. Let's go for OK and see if this works. After all, it's a parasolid based program. And sometimes there are problems. OK, now I want to trim that body, that complete body now, that unite with that extracted face here. That's the idea. So, where do we have a trim body? I want to trim that unite with that extracted face. And it should trim away the outside. So tool and target do not form a complete intersection or have a touch condition. So that's parasolid. Let's try it anyway. Maybe it works. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Let's delete this one. Go before, go back to that edge blend. And make it the current feature. There you go. And now I want to make an extrude. And surface extrude. Go for sheet and make it symmetric. Make it, let's say, 10 millimeter. The vector would be this one. And the curve would be tangent edges. So go for tangent curves and select this edge. It should go around and confirm. And now let's go back to our Unite and see if we can trim with this one or I have to go for the Unite. We will see. Let's try. 
trim body. I want to trim that unite with that extrude this one. This works great. So let's hide that extrude. Nice. So I've got one body here. Hopefully, let's check it out. Yeah, it's one body. Next, I want to extract all those faces because if I want to use that global shaping, I need faces. So let's go for extract. Geometry. I could go for face chain or body faces. So I go for body faces. Select the body. Associative, yes. Hide original, yes. That's okay. And confirm. It will take a little while. And when then I will have a lot of faces, which I want to sue, of course. Okay, now I want to sue all those extracted faces. A lot of faces indeed. So go for where do we have our sue command and let's select one big face, maybe this one at the bottom. Or I don't want to select this on the bottom. I want this to be solo. So use that sheet body and now select all the other ones like this and deselect that one on the bottom, this one. Looks okay and confirm. Yeah. Great. In order to use that global shaping, I need uh, reference surfaces. So I could do it with an extrude, or I could, I could extract another face. So let's go for extract geometry, more extract geometry. And that would be, oh no, I could, no, I could do it with a law extension. Let's do it with a law extension. So for surface, go for a law extension. Select a single curve. Yes, that would be this curve here. And the vector would be this one, but the other way around. And I want to go for 20 millimeters. Constant, constant, and okay. Now I want to extend that sheet on both sides by, let's say, 25 millimeters or 20 millimeters. Let's go for 20, like this. Now I need a, another sketch, and that would be on the ZX plane. So go for a sketch on that ZX plane. Confirm. This would be an arc. Like this. Now put this center point onto that axis. Add a construction line. Add a dimension, so this would be 250. Okay, and the radius, let's go for 800. Close. Finish that sketch. And let's make an extrude. I don't, I, I don't need that extrude really, but I, I think it's, it's good to 
to to use such an extrude it makes this more comprehensible I think I want to go for symmetry and this should be two not 250 but uh, of course 75 in both directions and confirm so that would be almost the same size as that as this this body at least from this point of view now i need another law extension and i want to go for this edge here vector this one turn it around like this 20 millimeters again and confirm now i could hide that one okay and now i want to use that global shaping and i go by surface and i want to deform this surface and the base surface would be this one this will take a while and you will get some sort of u and v vector and these are those two vectors let's select the control surface that's the reference the second one and again you will get a u and v uh, vector and they should point in the same direction so this looks pretty good and i will confirm okay now i want to do the same with that bottom face so go for global shaping and use this one and this would be the first reference and that would be the second reference and confirm now i need two new surfaces to bend it in that direction again i will do it with a law extension so go for no sorry I wanted to select the law extension here again a single curve use this one here go for a vector the vector would be this one turned around like this okay and again I will extend that sheet on both ends maybe by 25 okay now my second sketch and face could be up here or down below it that doesn't really matter i will go up here so the position in this case doesn't matter so go for a sketch on that plane here and this should be an arc again center should be aligned with that sketch axis i need a construction line this line should be of course horizontal and it should be for construction only it should have a dimension and that dimension would be 150 and the radius of this one maybe 600 I don't need a full constraint sketch so I make an extrude with this one again I make it symmetric and that would be would be 125 in both directions so that should cover this one yes and now let's do another law extension with that edge vector this one again turn it around and confirm 
I could hide that surface. I could hide this one, of course, and that one. And now let's repeat the same selections as before. Let's go to Surface, go to Global Shaping, select that body here. That will be the reference, the first one. This went pretty quick. Not really, it takes a while. So now the second one, this one. The vectors or arrows point in the same direction, that's okay. So let's confirm. Okay, now this one here, global shaping. I want to shape this surface. First reference, second reference and confirm. Now let's hide this one, hide that one. And I want to make an offset surface from this one. So go to Offset Surface. I want to offset this surface here in that direction. So it's all together 2.5. So I could go maybe for one millimeter. That's OK and confirm. So I've got that offset surface and I've got those two global shaped surfaces. Now I want to sew those two global shaped surfaces, which will give me a solid. So go to Surface, go to Sew. I want to sew this global shaped one and that global shaped one. And confirm. So now I should have a new body. Let's check it out. There is a solid body here and there is another solid body. That's the solid body. Okay. And now I want to trim that solid body with that sheet body, that offset surface. Let's switch back. And go to Home, go to Trim Body, yes. Let's trim that Sue body with that offset surface. Turn that around, that arrow, it should be the other way around. And then confirm and I'm done. Again, it takes a while. Hide that offset surface. And you've got your hexagon grill. Sort of an easy version. Hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.